guys, so it is finally the end of 2012. We are doing my December empties this month. Wow, if you've been following me on my vlog channel, then you know that I have been vlogging every single day in December and it has been quite a task. It's been a lot of fun, but some days are just a little more trying than others and I think I had a couple, I try to always film when I'm really happy, so I only want to put out positive videos, but I think I had a couple of moments when I was just overwhelmed and so I felt I probably came across a little stressed out in some of them, but hey, this is other vlogs, right? We gotta vlog exactly how things are and that's just how things work. So, enough babbling. This month has been a really good month. I've gotten through quite a few products and I thought I would share them all with you as fast as I can. So the first product I want to talk about is the Body Shop Body Wash in the Apricot and Basil scent. I find that most Body Shop Body Washes are actually pretty good. I like that they foam up a lot and they don't leave the scent lingering on for too long. I'm a big fan of tropical fruit scents but not really a fan of mixing it up with spices. So probably won't be repurchasing this because I don't enjoy the scent. The next one is... I'm gonna butcher this name, so I'm just gonna say this is Lancome Cleansing Water and this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle of it now. I love it, I use it as a toner, but I think you can, some people may use it as a light cleanser, but I usually use my cleansing oil, cleanser, and then this after. And it is amazing, I really, really love using this. I use about two or three pumps onto a cotton pad and then just put it all over my face. I feel like I go through these way too quickly though, I feel like they finish in like a month and a half for me, which I don't know if it's, if I'm not using it correctly or they just generally finish that fast, but I already have a backup ready to go but I still have quite a few toners that I need to work my way through first so I've forbidden myself from touching the next one until I work through maybe two more toners from other brands first. Gotta get some variety in there. What's next? Ah, this is the clear shampoo and conditioner sample set. I guess this was more like provided for consideration even though it wasn't necessarily through the blog. Generally these are good shampoos. I don't think I really noticed a big change. They're just like good all-around shampoos and conditioner. I don't think I would purchase them myself just because I feel like I need to notice a big change in the quality of my hair in order to justify purchasing um, hair care products and I didn't really notice anything different. It was good, it did the job, but so did quite a lot of other products. One of the benefits though is that they're not that expensive so they're quite affordable. The next two I'll talk about are candles because if you follow my blog then you know that I am obsessed with candles lately. I don't know why, I just just really am. I find them very therapeutic to watch them burn. Anyways, this first one, I just don't even know how to pronounce the name. So the scent is mango and tangerine and that's a pretty accurate depiction of what it actually smelled like. It was very much like tangerine and mango and I love it because these are tropical fruits and I am a sucker for tropical fruit scents. A bit expensive for my taste. I don't really remember the price. I feel like it was around the 25 dollar mark and for something this size I feel like that's kind of asking too much. Alternatively the next candle I bought was the from Bath and Body Works the Caribbean Escape and this is tiny you can see in comparison they're, they're quite small but this was only five dollars American. Even with shipping this was still cheaper than this and they're both got glass and even though I know this is like almost half the size here two of these ten dollars twenty five dollars even with shipping ten dollars still cheaper so I'm gonna keep buying these ones from Bath and Body Works and Dead. And Caribbean Escape, need I say more? I already have one of the large three wick versions of this because I love this scent so much. The next one is this SK2 Whitening Source Derm Definition. I used this as a serum after I applied my toner and it didn't do much for me. I've been trying to work my way into trying out more SK2 products but I feel like this didn't really do anything. It didn't do anything bad but it didn't do anything good. It was just a step in between this and my moisturizer so given the price point I don't actually know the price I got this online but um, I imagine it's SK2 it's probably not that cheap so I probably will be repurchasing this and I will move on to trying something different and the last product is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion had a bit of an English fail moment there so this is the old packaging I don't know if they sell it in this packaging anymore but it took me a while to get through it I don't know if you can see but I actually removed the stopper at the top in order to keep using it because it lasted me a few months and then I noticed it wasn't putting out any more product but I've read online that this packaging is quite poorly designed and that you get a lot of products stuck inside so I took the stopper out and it lasted me another two three months so that was really worth doing I know quite a few girls will cut open their primer to get the very last bit out of it but honestly I'm not really going to go that far, I'm not really in the business of cutting open all my packaging. I love this, 
I featured it in quite a few Book of Fable chapters. It kept my eyeshadow from creasing, kept the colours vibrant, it did everything I needed it to do and I would definitely repurchase this in a heartbeat. That's to say I already have. Okay, so that is it for today. If you want to catch up with what I'm doing over the next couple of days, I think I've got probably a few more days of Once Upon a December left until it is over, which I'm going to be really sad because I don't know if you can tell if my demeanor is different from my November empties video, but I actually really like talking to the camera now. I've gotten really used to it through my vlogs and I just think it's so much fun. I hope you guys have a really great New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!